In the third part of this series, we're going to look at how you can use the new song mode in Spark 2 in a live setting. So Spark 2 is not only a fantastic studio tool, it's also great in a live setting. One of the fun ways to use it is in Soul Mode. Soul Mode is where you can use the patterns that you've created to create full compositions. And it's very versatile and it allows you to mix things up and remix on the fly and really create some really great live performances. So the new Soul Mode is organized in up to 16 mini songs. Uh, and mini songs are these things here that you see, which are up to eight patterns. Uh, they can be less, of course. And uh, they play vertically. So what will happen here is A1 will play, then A2, then A3, then A4, and so on, until we get to A8. And at the moment, all of these mini songs are chained. You can see that by looking at these little arrows down here, which are lit, so that means that they're chained. So what will happen is when I get to pattern A8, after it's finished, pattern A9 will start. So if I don't want that to happen, if I want instead for at the end of A8, A1 to be played again, I simply click the arrow here. And now you can see this has changed color because we have two sections. We have this first section here and a second section here. So now when I get to the end of A8, it will play A1 again. So let's just chain those again. Um, of course, all of this is really dynamic. You don't have to play it all linearly, linearly. You can set the start point however you like by using these uh, little buttons down here. So if I click here, you see B1 has uh, been highlighted. This means that if I start the song now, it'll start on B1. Same here and same here. So let's put it back to the beginning. So now we'll start on A1 and of course, these are all uh, pre-programmed mini songs, but you know you can move things around as much as you like. You can uh, you can remove things by pressing and clicking on one of the patterns and then pressing the delete key on your keyboard. If you don't have a delete key, you can go up here and press the delete button. Uh, you can move multiple selections around. It's very dynamic. You can really create any change you could possibly imagine. Um, if you want to add more patterns because you don't see them in the, uh, the pre-programmed mini songs, you can go up here to the top section and say you want to drop in pattern C8. You simply click on bank C and then pattern 8 and you drag and drop it. It's that simple. So yeah, let's, uh, let's have a little look at, at the song mode in action. Here we go. So there you go, that's a quick introduction to the new song mode in Spark 2.